Welcome back to the Woodworks. Today, I'm gonna do beer braised chicken thighs. Turn off the food network and let me show you how the wood works. This is my recipe. When you braise something, you wanna kinda cook it slower in the oven. So let me run down the list of ingredients. It's five chicken thighs, bone in, skin on three cloves of garlic chopped, one onion chopped, two serrano peppers chopped. I'm leaving them in bigger pieces so people can take them out if they don't like the heat in the dish. 16 ounces of mushrooms sliced, 12 ounces of beer, one cup stock, chicken broth, vegetable broth, whatever you have, uh, two tablespoons spicy brown mustard, and I have some dried Fresh, I have a uh, fresh thyme that I'm gonna use and just, I tied it up, gonna just throw it in the pan once we put it in the oven. The first thing we're gonna do is brown the chicken um, and then cook the vegetables a little bit and then just put everything in the Dutch oven and then it's gonna go straight into the oven at 375. So my oven's already hot, my pan's hot, let's get going. All right, so the beer braised chicken thighs, we're gonna start out with putting some olive oil in the pan. This is just to brown the chicken. So skin side down. Then I'm gonna salt and pepper the other side. Okay, flipping the chicken thighs over, filling in all that flavor. So probably just five minutes each side. Um, once this, these are done, gonna take them off and then add the vegetables. Then you just add everything and it goes in the oven at 375 for like an hour. So five more minutes like this and then we'll be back. All right, taking the chicken thighs out, nice and brown. Got all that good stuff at the bottom of the Dutch oven here. Get my onions in there. And the peppers, which I kept big. Uh, serrano peppers can be, you know, a little spicy for some people. So they can be taken out. Now at this point, I'm not gonna need really any more oil because I have some uh, chicken stock and I have the beer if I want to deglaze the pan. But right now there's still enough oil in the pan to cook these veggies. Gonna add the garlic. So I would say five minutes for these veggies and then we'll add the mushrooms just for a few minutes um, and then add everything in and it'll go in the oven. This is really easy. And this is a recipe, you know, I've researched and then adjusted to what I like. Okay, adding in the mushrooms. 
It's gonna look like a lot of mushrooms, but it's not, they cook down. And just want the mushrooms to go for like two or three minutes. So they start cooking down a little bit. Um, they're gonna absorb that, the rest of that oil. But once they start cooking down a little bit, then we're just gonna add everything back in. I'm also gonna add the mustard in now so I can kind of swish it around. So I'm not um, moving it around with the, all the chicken in there. It's easier to blend it in now. And you know, spicy brown mustard has great flavor and it goes well with beer. That's why I chose it. Like usually one of my favorite things is um, when I'm traveling Europe, touring with the band in Germany to go to a beer garden and have a, a pint of beer with a pretzel and some spicy brown mustard. Mm. Love it. You can see the mushrooms are starting to cook down. So I'm gonna add the chicken back in. And then I'm gonna start adding all the liquid. So here's the beer. Doesn't really matter. Just use whatever kind of beer you like. This is what I had. Um, then it's a cup of stock. And I'm just gonna get the chicken completely submerged. Yeah. This liquid will cook down. It's gonna be great. Okay. And then I'm just gonna add the thyme, which I tied up. It's gonna give it great flavor. Put it in the middle. And just gonna double check all my ingredients here. That's everything, right Chance? Yeah, it should be. Okay. And then shut the heat off and it's gonna go in the oven now for like an hour. So that's the point of braising. Usually you wanna braise it longer. Maybe I would put the heat to 250 and it could go for like three hours. But because we're filming the show, we're gonna, it's 375 and this is gonna go in there for like an hour. Open the oven, 375. This wonderful concoction's going in there. Um, you don't have to cover it. You can if you want to, I'm not covering it. So 375 for an hour, cooking time, 60, start. And I did it wrong. No, I did it right. I did it right, okay. Good to go. We'll be back in an hour. Okay, we're gonna take the beer braised chicken out of the oven. It smells wonderful in the kitchen. There it is. I mean, Smells fantastic. Gonna plate it up over some rice and we'll be right back. Reach out, Hulk. Okay, I got my beer braised chicken here and I can already tell it's just beyond tender. It's, I mean, get over here just so you can see this. It's just, I'm not even doing anything and it's just falling right off the bone. In fact, I'm gonna, there we go. Mmm. If you ever have problems, cooking chicken, braise it. 
because once you follow the time, it's hard to screw it up. But this is so good. It tastes so good. Oh, that's the perfect bite. Cause some of the chicken with the mushrooms, hmm. This is fantastic. Please try this at home. My recipe, beer braised chicken thighs. Hold on, I think there's some rice in here. Mmm! It's so good. Try it at home. Beer braised chicken. You're gonna do a poultry braised dark meat. Yeah. Don't braise white meat. We do meat. braise legs all the time. Yep. It's delicious. All right.